I embrace boldness and I want to encourage the body of Christ today that we continue to praise the creator and not the creation. For many times, we sometimes get caught up in the stuff. We sometimes get caught up in people. And what we really need to be doing in the body of Christ is being caught up in the God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Almighty God, warrior, battle axe, and provider, everything that we need. And sometimes we tend to get off track. Whereas now we should be thanking the Lord for the gifts, not just that he gives us, but other people. But we tend to sometimes put the, them on a pedestal or put stuff on a pedestal. And the Lord is looking at us and he's saying that in all things that we do, we need to be following him and not man and not stuff. We know that following these people, following stuff will lead us to hell. And we don't want to go to that place. But if we keep on idolizing people, idolizing things, that's what we're headed for. We know that God said that he would have no other gods before him, nor no graver images. And so we really have to keep his commandments and really follow and do as the Lord say do in truth without wavering or without second guessing or questioning things or, well, I want to do it this way or I don't know about this, I don't know about that. For when God says speak, when he gives us a command, when he's reminding us of his judgment, his precepts, his laws, his statutes, we must keep it because the Lord is true and nothing that he tells us to do is ever wrong. It's right. It's for our good. So in all things, let us just continue to follow the Lord and not question things or not get mad when the Lord is chastising us about certain things that we're doing because it's to help us that it may be well with our souls. For what we don't understand is that these people that we're following, these things that we're looking up to, their lifestyle is not pleasing to the Lord. They want to make us think that they're really living the life of Jesus Christ and really following after him. But in all reality, behind closed doors, they're living a double life. They're living two different lives. And for some people, they're living a life. But at the same time, we all have our faults and our flaws. We still all are work in progress. So we can't depend on this person to teach us the truth or to show us the way. But in all things, we have to get on our knees and pray to our Father in heaven and ask him to show us the way, to lead us, to guide us, to help us understand his word. We have to know him for ourselves. We have to know that we know uh, that his word is true. Know that we know the power of prayer, the power of fasting, the power of worship, just getting in his word and eating of his word. We must know that we know that when we do these things, it's powerful and it works that we can help other people do the same thing, get a better understanding of what worship is really all about. We're getting in God's word just by fervently just hungering and thirsting how it can help us continuously in our day-to-day -day lives, how fasting can help us continuously in our day-to-day -day lives, how prayer can help us in our day-to-day -day lives. And by continuing to help others to know that they have a purpose and they have a will and that we cannot uh, get excited about other people, but we have to understand that though we're excited for other people and we should be excited for what God is doing in other people's lives, we have to must remember always too, God is doing things in our lives that is going to give him glory as well. And that's why it's important that we do not seek vain glory. We do not seek to get all the credit, all the boasting, all the bragging rights like some people seek after validation and just praise and just they're just fetching for compliments and, and they're just looking for people to just glorify them. But in all reality, we don't bow down to them. We don't want people bowing down to us. We want them bowing down to the creator for every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. We want them to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord for he is Lord over all. For we have no heaven or hell to put nobody in. But we want them to know that, hey, I can only do so much, but you're going to have to do the rest because I can't get to heaven for you. You got to get to heaven for yourself. And that's why it's important to tell people that, hey, I thank you and I appreciate your support and your feedback. But in all reality, all the glory goes to God 
all the credit, everything I do, everything that I sacrifice off onto him, it belongs to him because he made it all possible. He's the one that did it for me that I may testify of his goodness. And the same for you. He's the one that's going to do it for you that you may testify of his goodness and his grace and his mercy. So saints, I encourage you all, let us not get caught up in the creation, but let us get caught up in the creator, praising the creator more than the creation. I love y'all, bless tribe. Let us rise up and change what they were living in.